panel discussion that I moderated yesterday was by uh, members of the Mobile Health Regulatory Coalition or M Health Regulatory Coalition, mm -hmm. which we often call MRC. And really what we wanted to talk about was our philosophy and our approach that we've shared very openly with the public, with FDA, we've been very transparent, and it's a very broad group of participants that include some of the major sponsors here like Qualcomm, like Verizon, mm -hmm. Wireless, like AT&T, uh, and we have a lot of medical device companies, we have WellDoc, MedApp, so a lot of the folks that are on the board, the leaders, the visionaries in this space recognize that regulation is going to happen, and there's three options. There could be over-regulation and kind of let it sort of take its course without having some industry dialogue with the agency. Um, you know, it could go the other way perhaps, but that's unlikely that there's going to be very little regulation. And then there's probably an appropriate level of regulation that balances the need to protect uh, patient safety and make sure that these devices are you know, uh, effective and to do what they are intended to do. That's really the mission of the FDA, along with fostering innovation. So we felt like we needed to collaborate and work with them in the right framework and have a broad range of participants come to the table and talk about that uh, very candidly and share with them some of our questions and concerns and recommendations. Uh, regulation of medical device hinges on three primary areas of, of uh, concern to the health community. That starts with intended use because that's really what determines whether or not your technology is actually considered a medical device by the law and then if FDA regulates that. So there's some gray areas to between health and wellness and then actually you know, diagnosing and treating disease. And that's a boundary that we've really got to work on to try to find. The second piece that we've really focused on as a coalition is this idea of accessories, which made sense in the day when all medical devices were sort of isolated and they were all closed loop systems that worked by themselves. And as a manufacturer, you could be accountable for all those pieces. Now everything's connected together. So if, they, if you connect something to a device, traditionally FDA has said, if you connect to a device, you're regulated as a device. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't regulate the whole network, so we're gonna have to find some boundaries there. Mm -hmm. The third piece is software that's separate from the device, but from a mobile uh, application, but it's very critical to use. So those are the things that we really talked about, and, and we shared the perspectives of each of the panel members, and then sort of how we collaborate. That's really the focus, yes. And what does it mean for, for the everyday user, and for a patient, or for, for someone who's using a mobile device? Great question, because I think, you know, if there's one thing I'd like for folks to take away from our little discussion here, if you're going to get into healthcare as a technology company, if you're out here on the floor as a startup and you're contemplating mm -hmm. some great innovation you want to bring to that, you've got to look at it. You've got to look at your responsibilities under the law mm -hmm. and determine where those boundaries are and how you're going to market your product. And if you're regulated, it might not be that bad. You just really need to kind of come to grips with it and, and look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, the challenges that I've just talked about notwithstanding, uh, folks here on the floor have made it through very successfully, and you're looking at MedApps and WellDoc, uh, a number of, the, of, of great innovative companies that have taken the plunge, have gotten their approvals, and you know they're going.